So you're shopping for a power supply and you see these 80 plus bronze, gold, silver, platinum, titanium and whatever kind of 80 plus ratings on your power supplies and you're wondering what do those actually mean. Some of you that are more well versed might know that they mean the efficiency of power supplies but some of you may not know and you might just assume that those means the quality rating of your power supplies. But I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. And this is the problem with 80 plus certification. It has a very limited number of measurements done on the power supply. Basically the 80 plus certifications had certain levels that require you to meet certain specifications at 20%, 50% and 100% loads to be able to certify for that certification level. So as you can see in this table, it gets more difficult as you get higher in the certification level. But the base certification, just 80 plus white, just requires you to have 80% on all 20%, 50%, and 100% loads. And only the highest titanium ranking that has been just recently released requires you to have an over something percent on the 10% load level Whereas the other certification levels doesn't require you to hit any kind of efficiency level at the 10% load mark. Which is not very good because 10% is quite important because that's pretty much where your PC is when it's on idle most of the time. And most power supplies can't be very efficient at just 10% load. So that's also one of the drawbacks of the 80 plus certifications. Not to mention that they also test at a ridiculously low 23 degrees ambient temperature which is way too low for a PC power supply because most cases are hotter than that inside. So that's why we need a new certification standard. The 80 plus simply doesn't test enough. The only thing they test are the efficiency levels, nothing else. And that's just not enough in the current PC market if you're trying to find a good quality power supply. Since 80 plus was first just created to make sure that PC power supplies have higher efficiency ratings because previously power supplies have only like 70 something percent, maybe even 60 something percent efficiency. So they waste a lot of power as just wasted heat. That's why the 80 plus certification program was created in 2004. However, that's clearly just not enough for people looking to buy power supplies and looking to know which power supplies are actually good for their PCs. This is where the new certification standards of Lambda and ETA from Cybernetics Labs come in. The new Cybernetics, Lambda and ETA certifications are more comprehensive. They test even the noise of the power supplies and other major important efficiency ratings of the power supply as well such as 5 volt standby and also vampire power and also testing at more realistic temperatures. They have multiple levels and I'm just gonna keep this short but they have the ETA level which is for their efficiency levels. They have A+, A, B, C and D which is pretty self-explanatory really because it's basically just like your uh, high school grades pretty much for so a plus is the best a is next down and so on and so on now a plus means 94 to 97 percent average efficiency means that it has over 0 0.985 active power factor correction which is really high and also an over 79 percent 5 volt standby efficiency and less than 0 0.1 watt vampire power so you can see the certifications have much more rigorous testing and more measurements done than just the plain 20 percent 50 percent 100 percent uh, efficiency load and you can see the rest of them over here so you can see that they test a lot more and it's a lot more indicative of the actual quality of the power supplies as well since you need a really good power supplies to achieve all those all at once to reach A or A plus levels for example. Although you're still recommended to read reviews of power supplies to see the quality itself instead of just relying on the certifications that the power supply has. Especially if it's just the 80 plus certifications, those don't really show the quality of the power supplies because you can find crappy power supplies that still pass 80 plus uh, gold certification from China for example. Since another problem is that 80 plus really doesn't care about the usage of their logo. They don't chase down people that use fake logos, especially like from brands in China. And now let's get back to the cybernetics ratings. They also have the lambda level. Now the lambda levels are for their noise level measurements. So there's A++, which is less than 20 dBA, which is extremely quiet. It's basically silent, so maybe a fanless power supply 
A+, which is 20 to 25 dBA, and so on and so on, all the way to E, which is extremely loud and terrible. So, all these testing requirements and more levels and more rigorous testing and, you know, more realistic temperatures at testing these power supplies, as well as them chasing down people that use fake logos, I think that the Cybernetics ranking should be used more than in the 80 plus rankings. Although it's still quite new, so you still don't see those rankings a lot on power supply boxes and anything else. It's mostly just the new power supplies that are being released. Most old power supplies still use 80 plus rankings and certifications, which is not very good. Especially since, like I said before, a lot of cheap manufacturers might even just fake the logo, even though they've never tested their power supplies. But anyways, that's it for this video. I'm just showing you guys the new rankings from Cybernetics. If you want to read more about it, you can head to the link over in the description. There's a large article by Tom Hardware. I can't really cover the whole thing because I think you'll understand it more if you read it. I'm just using this video to show you guys the new certification from Cybernetics because I think it's quite interesting and quite useful to the PC industry. Anyways, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please leave a like and please click subscribe to see more of my future videos.